Hey there, it's Iman here at White Lance. I'm going to take you through the delayed payment feature. If you enable this feature, a new section will appear on the contract pages. It looks like this. It says it's a tick box and it says should payments for the job be delayed and you can put in a number of days here. We've put in two, but equally you could change it to three or four or any specific number. Now, uh, if you do change it, you just press save and then that's saved. Uh, in my case, I'm saying two, so nothing needs to be saved. Now, when any payment is due to be taken, whatever this saved field says will apply to that milestone. Even if the milestone was created many days ago before you had applied this setting, if the milestone is set to be paid and then you click pay at that point, whatever the setting says, that's, that's the logic that's followed. So I've changed this, I've added this um, delayed payments now, and I've got a milestone here. I'm going to go and pay for it now. Okay, so let's have a look. We can see here the payment is scheduled for 20th of August. So now we wait, and we're going to wait. Uh, today it's the 18th of August. And we're going to wait for two days, and in two days' time, the payment will be taken. So let's simulate two days' time. And let's see what happens. Okay, that should be done. Now it's been paid and we should also receive some emails to that effect. And here we go. We can see for this particular job and for this milestone, a payment has been successfully made. And the freelancer has also, also been notified. So now I can go on, I can approve it if I wish. And that gets approved as normal. So that's how the payment system, delay payment system works. Currently, it applies to single milestones and single fixed milestones, which is every month. And we're shortly applying it to uh, recurring milestones, too. Thanks very much for your time.